Well, you uh, also are doing a job for the profession, too. It, it seems to me you're the international representative of the American College of Surgeons. Well, I have been doing that work in the international field for the American College of Surgeons for many years. Well, what does that work consist of? Well, it consists of uh, the, the American College of Surgeons started in as a purely American institution. And then it took in the Canadians. And then it, they, the regions decided to expand and take in the Latin Americans, who many of them had asked for membership and were interested. So that's where I came into the picture in the organizational field and uh, helped organize the college throughout Latin America. Doctor, being as we are in the radio and television business, and uh, uh, I having a theatrical background, uh, it seems to me the story of, of your life and the first transfusion and uh, the, you came from a very big family, too, didn't you, as I understand it? Well, a fairly large family. How many there were six family? of us. Six. Six children. Uh, wouldn't that make a wonderful motion picture? Well, I'm not a judge of that, but I, I think it could be as exciting as many moving pictures I've seen. Well, I think it could be a lot more exciting than some I've seen. You'd have to do it installments if you took up all the children and their accomplishments. Mm -hmm. your no, brother. you, you, mm -hmm. you, uh, uh, I can, uh, gee, I can give you the plot and two. You write the mm -hmm. script, Dad. Well, mm -hmm. yes, sir. <laughs> Is this going to be a musical? We're partners. Mm -hmm. No, sir. We have John Ray here tonight who could, we could be casting. This, <laughs> would, uh, <laughs> this would be on the level, but it's a funny thing about my operation, Doctor. Now, look, please. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you interested, Mr. Smith? I know all about your well, operation, tell her. Oh, No. Please. Oh, let's be. Oh, my no, feelings no. are hurt uh, now. No. I'm not mm -hmm. going to tell her. I, but I, one question I do want to ask you. I, anyway, you had a good surgeon because you look in the paint. Say, Otto Pickard and Young Cobra Rule, all those fellows are best. Don't rule out Dr. Kenyon. He helps. They weren't cheap either. Mm -hmm. No, well. <laughs> uh, the, the laborer is worthy of his hire. Yes. Uh, Even if he's only an actor. I was raised um, for a time. I, I was employed by a, a doctor in Troy, New York. His name was John English, very good diagnostician. Uh, and uh, he raised me and sent me to school, what little schooling I had, and paid me, fed me, clothed me. And uh, I was allowed to go out and play between 6 and 8 in the morning. He had office hours, 6 to 8, a doctor. He had uh, office hours from 1 to 3 in the afternoon and from 6 to 8 at night. That's the only time I was allowed out to play. He did an enormous volume, a uh, dollar for a house call, 50 cents for an office call, and that was the going rate in yeah. New York in those years. And all of those fourteen to $15,000 worth of business that he would do in the course of a year, he got paid all the way from 2200 to $3,000. How are your collections? <laughs> well, I'd like to have all that's owing to me. Really? So that I could retire. <laughs> I guess every doctor uh, almost could, we could say that. Yeah. But the the veterinarians all seem to have a way of collecting right on the line, though. Well, well those horses, they pay off. You <laughs> were. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get well, any illusions <laughs> about those ponies. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Um, Frank Cargan, we're most indebted to you for coming well, up it's here been tonight. a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to, I hope you'll stay around. Maybe you sit over there with Dr. Rule and the Antons because um, uh, Mr. Raid is here. We're going to play I've one of his records. I've enjoyed this very much mm -hmm. in a number of years ago. I think mm -hmm. it's wonderful. I'm sure everybody will be waiting to hear from you. Well, thank you, and we're going to be back in just a moment after this recorded message from Jinx.